Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the tools that are used in networking. And if you are already a network technician, then you're already going to be familiar with these tools that I discuss. Now, if you are going to be a network technician, then a lot of times you're going to be creating your own network cables. So after you have cut the length of the cable you need, the next step is to remove the plastic shielding on the ends of the cable. And this is done by using a cable stripper. So the cable is inserted into the cable stripper and then with a squeeze, twist and a pull, the outer plastic shielding is removed. So after the shielding has been removed, the next step is to arrange the wires in the correct order and then crimp a connector such as an RJ45 to the cable. And this is done by using a wire crimper. A wire crimper crimps connectors to twisted pair cable. So after you have inserted the wires into the RJ45 connector, you just place it into the crimper, give it a squeeze, and then the cable is done. Now after you have cut the cable, arranged the wires, and removed the plastic shielding, and crimped RJ45 connectors to the ends, the next thing to do is to test the cable. And this is done by using our next tool, which is a cable tester. A cable tester is used to verify continuity and if the wires are arranged correctly. So you would just connect both ends of the cable into the tester, and then it will cycle through all the pins in the cable to make sure that the cable is properly wired and connected. And our next tool is a tone generator. Now a tone generator is a tool that is used for tracing cables from one end to the other. So for example, let's say you wanted to isolate this network cable and find the other end that's connected to this patch panel. And as you can see, this patch panel has multiple cables plugged into it. And this panel is also located in a different part of the building. So in this scenario, it would be very difficult to find the other end of the cable. So this is where a tone generator comes in. So you would just connect the tone generator tool at one end of the cable that you want to isolate, and then it would generate a tone through the cable all the way to the other end. And then with the probe, you would just jump from cable to cable on the patch panel until you find the cable. Then once the probe detects the tone coming from a cable, the probe will generate a sound indicating that it has found the cable. And another tool that is used to test cables is called a time domain reflectometer. A TDR is a piece of electronic equipment that's used to test cables, such as twisted pair and coaxial cable. And this is done by transmitting a signal through the cable and then the signal is reflected back to the TDR. The TDR then analyzes the reflected signal and from there it's able to pinpoint if there are any problems. And these problems could be conductors, loose connectors, shorts, crimps, bends, and so on. And there's also an optical time domain reflectometer. And this does the same thing as a TDR, but this is used on fiber optic cable. And because fiber optic cable uses light to transmit data, an OTDR transmits light through the cable instead of transmitting a signal. The light that is transmitted and reflected back is used to detect any problems with the cable. Now, another tool that is used to test fiber optic cables is called a light meter. Now a light meter is a simpler tool than an OTDR. So while an OTDR does more sophisticated tests, a light meter just measures how much light is going through the fiber optic cable. So you would have a light source device at one end and then it'll send light through the cable to the other end where a light meter will measure how much of the light is coming through. Now there's also an RJ45 Ethernet loopback adapter. Now a loopback adapter is a handy little tool that is used to perform a loopback test to see if there are any problems with network ports or connection issues. And it does this by performing a loopback test. Now to perform a loopback test, the wires in a network cable are arranged in a certain way into an RJ45 connector. 
where the transmitted signal is looped back into the same connector. So in a loopback adapter's RJ45 connector, a wire from pin 1 is connected to pin 3, and another wire from pin 2 is connected to pin 6. So basically it causes the output signals to be returned or looped back into the input signals to form a complete circuit. Now you can buy a pre-made loopback adapter tool like this one here, or what a lot of network technicians will do is just make one themselves like this one here. Now to use this tool, let's say you wanted to check this wall jack and network cable to make sure that they are working and connected correctly to this switch. So all you have to do is plug the loopback adapter into the wall jack and if the corresponding port on the switch lights up when you plug it in, then that indicates a good connection. And you can be assured that the wall jack, cable, and switch are communicating and working correctly. But if the port doesn't light up on a switch, then that indicates a network connection problem, such as a bad cable related to faulty wiring. It could also be a bad wall jack, or in a rare instance, it could be a problem with the switch. So a loopback adapter is a quick and easy way to test network connections. Now, a lot of telephone technicians will carry a piece of equipment called a butt set. A butt set is a device that resembles a telephone, and it's used to test and monitor telephone lines. The technician will hook up the device and, as its name implies, butt into a line to hear a conversation to determine if there are any problems. These problems include noise or something simple, like detecting if there's a dial tone. A punch down tool is a tool that resembles a screwdriver, and this is simply used to connect or punch wires into a punch down block. A punch down block is used with telephone equipment where wires are installed. These blocks make it easy to connect wires because you don't have to strip the outer shielding off the cable first. The wires are just inserted using a punch down tool, and then they are punched down into the block. And as the wires are punched down, the punch down tool will automatically cut off any excess wire. And finally, there is a multimeter. Now, a multimeter is a device that is used to test electrical circuits. It's a popular tool that is used for many different trades, including networking. It can measure voltage in network devices, it can check for voltage in power outlets, and it can also check for continuity in network cables. And multimeters come in both analog and digital versions. So thank you everyone for watching this video on networking tools. Please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and thank you for watching.